Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So as many of you all know, I have been not eating a vegan diet after eating it for six years. I've been going back to animal-based food since about 22 days ago for health reasons. If you wanna know all the ins and outs, I'll put a link for the up above talking about that more in detail. And today, this is the first time since I've been off of my vegan journey that I'm gonna be trying wild caught specific cod loin which has been cooked in grass-fed, pasture-raised, antibiotic-free, hormone-free ghee as well. Oh, that ghee. It smells absolutely divine. Wow. Oh, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this. And if you didn't know, I was someone that never really used to eat fish in my life before. Seafood's always weirded me out, but I seem to be a different person where I seem drawn to some of the more mild tasting fish. And this is gonna be the first seafood you've seen me eat on this channel. I'm first gonna try it without any seasoning, except for obviously the ghee, it's not necessarily seasoning, but. Okay, so out of all the animal foods I've had, this one to me is the least tastiest. It's not bad, but it's not got quite a strong taste. It's quite plain. I had salmon before, and it tastes way more flavorful. And the texture is way different to salmon. I actually prefer the texture with the salmon over the cod. But yeah, normally I don't need to add any seasoning to the foods that I'm eating, but yeah, because this is not an absolutely amazing taste, strong in tasting fish, definitely some salmon. We're actually running out of pepper there. So add some salt, some pepper. I love a lot of salt, salt's amazing. Got loads of amazing minerals in there naturally occurring, at least when it's not refined salt. This is unrefined Celtic sea salt. Mm. That really brings out the taste. Mm. I still have to say, steak is by far my favorite. I eat that pretty much every single day. Mm. But yeah, very light, very tender, breaks apart really, really easy. This is the first time that I've cooked something in gear. It's nice, but I prefer the beef tallow. I use that so often. And cod is by far not one of the highest like omega-3 rich sources of fish for EPA and DHA. It's lacking on a vegan diet to mess up so many vegans' health, mentally and physically holistically. Good for me. And it's doing it so many other vegans well, whether they're rare it or not. And that's why so many vegans are not thriving and deteriorating and very malnourished. Mm. They say, well, you can get plant-based essential fatty acids known as ALA. But the conversion rate to EPA and DHA is like so low. It's like 2 to 10%. Very, very low. And it's key for optimizing your longevity, your hormone production, neurotransmitter production, mental health, cognitive health, sleep, skin health, heart health. And so many people have so many health issues in today's world and it's due to having normally way too much omega-6 and not enough omega-3, which causes chronic inflammation throughout the whole body. You don't find a health issue or symptom that isn't related to some sort of inflammation in, in certain parts of the body. Mm. 
Wow, that ghee is so rich. Whoa. Use a whole tablespoon of it. <laughs> I think I use a bit too much, but it's all good. <clears throat> Do you like cod or not? Let me know down below. And if you like cod, give us a thumbs up. But yeah, what is your favourite fish to eat? For me, it's definitely salmon. Mm. Oh man, if you don't see one of my recent videos, I posted a video of like, one of the most skinniest, weak, malnourished look vegans like ever. Did a response video to one of his videos. He said the carnivore diet is not suitable for anyone. Not meant to eat meat. I feel so sorry for him. He's programmed with so much dogma and ideologies that he's learnt from evangelist raw food teachers out there. To follow us a fruitarian diet because he believes we shit 100% fruit diet because that's what he's designed for. But this proved that with a lot of science in that video. I haven't seen that one, a really link up above as well. Hmm. And man, if you're in Thailand, you can get really, really high quality fish that's wild caught, not factory farmed, same with the meat. But someone mentioned to me recently, when Vegetable Police, if you don't know about him, huge YouTuber, and then personally, he swapped to meat based diet from vegan diet after about 10 years. He said he couldn't really get high quality meat and fish. <laughs> what a lie. You can get all of the different organs, meat, fish, like all other animal foods from paleorobby.com delivered to your door. No matter where you are in Thailand. And they sell like grass fed, pasture raised, antibiotic free meat. Not a free range. Deliver to your door. Don't even have to leave your house. Mm. It's a time only company, so you can't get the products if you're not in Thailand. But if you are, I'll put a link down below for them and I'll give you a 500 baht discount that you can use as well off your first order, which has to be over 2000 baht. Mm. And what other foods would you like to see me eat on camera that I haven't eaten so far? Could be something really weird. <laughs> if you want me to do that, I'll do it. Don't give me any really bad seafoods, man. I'm not really into seafoods except for this cod and salmon. Everything else just weirds me out. It's funny as human beings, we get used to like junk foods and processed foods, especially when we're growing up like I did. Some foods like organs and fish and stuff can seem really weird. Yet we now have, have no issues with eating like garbage processed McDonald's and Burger King and all that stuff. That's the stuff we should be turned off by. And if anyone wondered why I added ghee, I always add a high fat sauce to the foods I'm eating. Because the high fat I eat, the better I feel. My brain and body have been lacking these essential fatty acids for around six years. And even before then, because I was eating absolute garbage food my whole life, like frozen food, microwave food, fast food. So I was already very deficient in it before I got on a vegan diet and then I just took it to the whole other level and went to this extreme diet that I thought was the best diet in the world because I got told by doctors and um, other people to preach all their agenda and lies with the vegan diet. 
and then I suffered. But at least I woke up to reality at some point. Not vegans never do. Mm. Really silly. Why keep doing something that isn't working for you? Holding on to it for years and years and years. It's like, give up. Try something else. I thought that was a little bone in there then. Hmm. Gone now, whatever it was. Hmm. Now it's about the right amount for me. I'm still quite new to eating animal food, so I can't eat a lot in one sitting without feeling very satiated. When you've been starved of certain nutrients for so long on a specific diet of eating diet and then you start eating certain foods you haven't for years that have nutrients in you lacking you get full way quicker than someone that's used to those foods and hasn't got the deficiencies you have mm, the mic fell then so yeah as you can see dum 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 So I'm glad I tried this, so say it wasn't the most tasty things, but still give me certain things that I need to feel my best. So yeah, don't forget to like the video, leave your questions down below, don't forget to share the video, don't forget to subscribe to see a lot more videos like this from me on a regular basis, me making videos exposing the vegan agenda and the lies that spread by the people that promote the diet as well. I'm still doing response videos to people that are think they're thriving on a vegan diet and they're not so stay tuned for them so as always stay fit stay energetic and enjoy the rest of your day peace